one of the biggest opportunities I'm seeing in the market today is a lot of these beat up renewable energy companies that have fallen for a number of different reasons. Rising interest rate makes it harder to finance new projects. So that reduces demand for everything from solar panels to inverters to wind turbines. And then also a lot of the financing companies, which are actually buying these projects and operating them long term, have seen their borrowing costs go up. So if they were using leverage to buy projects, let's say they were using 50-50 leverage. If you take out $500,000 in debt and use $500,000 in equity to buy a million dollar project, suddenly your debt costs go from 2% to 6%. That's much more costly when you finally have to refinance that debt makes the equity side of things much less valuable as well. So the market has really been working through a lot of these things, trying to figure out where does value ultimately lie. And one company that I think has been sold off way too far is NextEra Energy Partners. This is a company that has a long track record of adding value in the renewable energy space. They're one of the biggest renewable energy asset owners in the world. They have a little bit of a complex financial structure. So sometimes there's some surprises that pop up. But what management has done over the last few quarters is really try to shore up the company, sell some assets to raise money to buy out other assets. And yes, their interest rates will rise over time, but management is still confident they're going to be paying a really high dividend yield, which is in double digits right now. So I want to dig through the latest earnings report and what we know about Nextar Energy Partners, because this one seems to be a company that has just been overlooked by the market and if it keeps performing as it has been, could be a phenomenal investment for long-term investors. My name is Travis Hoyam. Thanks for watching Asymmetric Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And thanks to this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. If you go to fool.com slash ASYM, they'll give you their top 10 stocks to buy right now. So let's go to a few details from the recent earnings report and start there. I want to start with a few financing pieces because this is one of the things that has gotten a lot of attention for investors Next Air Energy Partners has a number of what are called convertible equity portfolio financings. So what they'll do is they'll put a bunch of projects into a separate company and then a financing partner will own another part of the business. The way that it has been explained in previous presentations and all of the details are different with, with each one of these financing projects, but Next Air Energy Partner would get a bunch of the cash flow in the first three to five years and then we have the opportunity to buy out the other partner at a predefined price or rate of return. If they didn't buy them out, then the cash flow would flip and that partner would start to get a vast majority of the cash flow. So if you're a company that's paying out a dividend like Next Air Energy Partners is, you're going to go from having cash flow coming into the business to not having cash flow coming into the business if you don't buy out that partner. So that's what we're dealing with here at just a really high level. So what they've done is they have sold some of their Texas pipeline portfolio to address two of three near-term convertible equity portfolio financings. So there's another one that they're going to need to deal with in 2025. But for now, two of those look like they've been figured out. The company has the financing available to do that. They've also put money in what is called repowering wind power plants, basically just upgrades to the power plants to make them operate more efficiently should lower the cost from an energy perspective and maybe increase the output as well. They also said that they don't expect to need any growth equity until 2027. And what this means is that what companies like Next Era Energy Partners will typically do is to buy a new project, they will take out debt and they will sell some stock. So you're financing this new project with both equity and debt and in theory, you should be able to buy the project at a price where it will add value to all of the shareholders and help grow that dividend over time. That's the theory behind these yield co-companies. If we go to some of their other key operating metrics, here's where you get to some of the cash that's coming out. So selling those pipelines, net proceeds of $1.4 billion after extinguishing project related debt. Going to use that, those proceeds for those acquisitions I talked about a moment ago. And then completed a note issuance of $750 million. They call this opportunistic refinancing, but this is a pretty high yield compared to the yields that they were getting before. So maybe a good timing as far as doing that in late 2023 versus early 2024 when rates were starting to rise, but you're still looking at higher rates than you had previously. 
But this is the thing that I think we need to look at for next era energy partners. This is still a company that's generating a lot of cash. Yes, there's going to be more money that's going towards interest payments in the future. But that's always been the case. They've always had debt. You want to know, is there an increasing number amount of cash coming through the business? Adjusted EBITDA would be one way to look at this. $1.65 billion worth of adjusted EBITDA in 2022. Add some new projects, sell existing projects, you have IDR fees, and you get an increase to $1.87 billion in adjusted EBITDA for 2023. Cash available for distribution is another metric we often look at. That went from $634 million to $689 million in 2023. And for next year and 2024, management is expecting these to be pretty similar. And this is the expected run rate as of the end of this year. It's a little bit confusing in the way that they presented this, but basically they're expecting to go from this 1.875 number to 1.9 to $2.1 million in adjusted EBITDA. The, ca the cash available for distribution is going to go from $689 million to 730 to $820 million. Now you have a couple of choices when you have this cash that is available for distribution. You can pay down debt or you can pay out a dividend. What management has said is that the annualized run rate is expected to be $3.73 for 2024. And then that will grow through 2026 between five and 8% with a target rate of 6%. So let's put that in a little bit of context. As of the current stock price, and this is near the close of trading on Tuesday, that means Next Era Energy Partners has a dividend yield of about 13.7%. So that's an extremely high dividend yield. And that payout is expected to grow consistently, at least for the next couple of years. So what management is telling us about the business, the actions that they're taking to refinance, to sell off certain assets and buy others that maybe have a higher rate of return, and what the market is thinking is going on seem to be two completely different things. And that's where I think there's ultimately an opportunity for investors. Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash ASYM for the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Now, there are certainly risks for next air energy partners. Interest rates could continue to rise as they have to refinance a couple of billion dollars worth of debt over the next couple of years. Those higher interest payments could take money out of free cash flow. But you saw with those guidance numbers, it's not like management is going to be surprised by the debt that has to be refinanced. And they are still guiding for cash available for distribution to be up from 2023 over the next couple of years. So I think there's a lot of positive signs for next air energy partners. And in the meantime, investors are getting a phenomenal dividend yield. And if there's a recovery in the stock where investors have a little bit more confidence in the performance of the company, we could see share value go up and the yield go down. And that would be win-win for investors, two positive outcomes. So definitely not a no risk stock, but this is a company that has very positive assets. They have long-term cash flows and they have options to finance the company going forward. They could reduce that dividend payout, reduce the risk profile for the business. It's not what management has chosen to do. And one of the reasons that I think that's true is that they see the cash flows that are gonna be coming into the business and they're confident they can keep paying that dividend. So that's why I like Next Air Energy Partners. I think there's just too much worry in the stock right now and a lot of opportunities for investors to either collect a dividend or watch that dividend yield fall and the stock price rise in the meantime. But what do you think about Next Air Energy Partners and its dividend? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to Asymmetric Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.